And next up, I, I just we're going to clear this up because this has bemused me to some extent, and I'm sure it will be clear in the next few minutes. New Haven on the Sussex coast is to be the unlikely location for a new Amazon Prime comedy series. The town's community have come together to showcase their home and the talented people who live and work there. The series is called Seaside Town, written by Warren Dudley, who wrote the screenplay for The Bromley Boys, which was at cinemas recently. And uh, we'll chat to Warren and somebody who's collaborated on this project in a couple of seconds. But first of all, here's a clip from Seaside Town. Hey guys, I'm here in New Haven in the UK and I'm about to go meet some of the guys who run one of the oldest soccer teams in the world. Can I go for a wee? Uh, pleased to meet you, Keely. I've heard he's a real fountain of soccer knowledge and one day I want to get my FIFA badges. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can learn from the guy. Let's go see. The fella's an idiot, mate. He's making New Haven a laughing stock. Absolute joke, mate. Tell them what he'd done last week. Oh, well, he only went and ruined my sister's funeral. The blacks are... Seaside Towns premieres in New Haven a week today and you can catch that on Amazon Prime. Uh, in the studio with me is the writer Warren Dudley and Graham Preecy from the New Haven Regeneration Group. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning, Dave. Good to have you with us. Right, so for me, Amazon Prime is the home of like the Man City thing with Pep Guardiola following them through the Premier League title winning season. Uh, Hammond, May and Clarks an escape there. They got big original series and big blockbuster films. Why is this film about New Haven on that channel then, Warren? Well, it's probably slightly less exciting than you're hoping, but it's still very exciting. Uh, basically, I've made several um, feature film bits and pieces in my sort of career of doing this for the last few years. So I have some sort of connections and ins, and I know the process. So you basically, anyone can sell a DVD on Amazon, for instance, but to get on the Prime network, you basically send a trailer and some documentation and you kind of, you know, tell them what you're doing. And, uh, yeah, I think the the kind of community thing appealed i think and I've, you know football obviously is a big thing the fact that we've crossed over between the us and the uk with our league character that's quite appealing i think and they they've taken a little go on it so it's it's so this film about new haven will be able to be seen by prime subscribers across the world uh, yes uk and the us initially and then uh, then you do the work potentially with uh, subtitling and all that kind of thing. But oh, US, oh. UK... OK, let's start with the big markets first exactly. of all. Okay, well, the US, right. is obviously the US with Amazon Prime is the big one. OK, I think I've probably jumped onto page five here. We need to start at the beginning. Uh, Graham, what's the New Haven Regeneration Group's involvement in the films that uh, Warren's made? Yeah, that's a good, so, that's a good question. So, uh, uh, New Haven Regeneration Group, uh, so myself and Mark Beaumont, uh, it's a social enterprise. Uh, its purpose is to make New Haven thrive uh, by giving people more options to work, rest and play in the town. We, we grew up there, we went to school there with Warren, actually. Um, so, we funded the film. Uh, we wanted to put New Haven on the map uh, for a place to make great films uh, now and in the future. So this is our first first one. And the other thing we said to Warren as the director is get as many local talented people in a production and to act in this. And we had 155 people in our community come and get involved in our film, which is, which is massive uh, for New Haven. Um, and it's going to be broadcast around the world. How cool is that? That is quite something, that is quite something. What's the story? What's the plot? OK, so the uh, US women's national team, football team, are being sent on uh, soccer odysseys around the world. So we open up with the US players being sent to Porto, Bayern Munich, Barcelona, around the world. This is all fictitious? Fictitious. Right. And finally, Keely Jones, the captain, uh, opens up her piece of paper and we find that she's going to New Haven in the UK slightly to her amusement, and that's where we start. So she's been sent to New Haven because it's one of the oldest football clubs in the world, which... Uh, Fictitious. Know, no, slightly like, slight artistic licence, but 1887. Okay. New, New Haven's older than Arsenal and Manchester United, a lot of these big clubs. It's so amazing. There. So, and there, obviously she ends up in New Haven, meets the characters, the manager and all the locals, and gets involved and obviously, you know... Falls for the place a little bit. Go, goes for there. Okay, right. So, so you said you got one hundred and fifty kind of volunteer cast, and the two lead characters. Yes. That they're at, they actual actors or or th Absolutely. this is their proper jobs. Uh, yeah, Roger is an actor who I've worked with numerous times. One of my my sort of comedy muse. Is, so he is plays Roger. the manager. He of the plays Bob Riley, the New Haven manager. Yeah, and uh, the incredibly talented Hannah Bang Benz, brilliantly named Hannah Bang Benz, plays Keely, our American uh, soccer star, and she's from. 
she's from Bournemouth, actually. She's not American, but her accent is immaculate. It and, is very uh, good. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, so those two are actors, and everyone else uh, came on board locally, which is fantastic. You, you've done an interesting thing with, with the football manager. Cause from the clips I've seen, is he's a kind of this t- typical kind of bumbling, not the sort of person, really, we should be proud of. And if we're sh- showing New Haven to the world, we've got this Egypt running the football team. Yep. It, it, why have you done that? You just need it for the for the plotting, really. Obviously, as once you watch it through, it'll all become clear, and hopefully by the end of it, you'll have a different feeling of him and the community and stuff. But right. I think if it starts and everything's all lovely and positive and shiny, it doesn't really give uh, the writer, me, anywhere to go with it. So I think, uh, you know, you'll appreciate Bob by the end of the series. David Brent kind of had the same approach as well. It's kind of anti-hero. Yes, and because it's filmed in the, the mock documentary kind of style. Yes, and we love that in this country, the kind of... You know, the, yeah, he's, he's really loathsome from the bits I've seen. Yeah, he, well, he's lovely. He's very sweet. Yes, and but he's just a bumbling idiot. Like yeah. you say, he doesn't really know what he's doing, and he used to have managed the first team, and now he's managing the under tens. So you know, he's. And this is my question to Graham. Reputationally, mm. was it is it was there a risk in this film that actually it could do more harm to New Haven's reputation than the positive? I think. I think the. Uh, what the, as as investors in the film, we we said to Warren, write something that gets the attention of New Haven around the world. Let's put New Haven on the filmmaking map. We've already had inquiries from other filmmakers to say we want to film there. Where's that? It's beautiful, uh, and the fact that we've got local people involved. That's a, there's a lot of talented people in New Haven, and we found them through making a film. And there are people already saying, I want to be in more. That is a massive positive benefit for us. As as local, you know, born and bred guys, what what is the state of New Haven? Because you know it's much maligned in in many ways. But what where is it in its kind of kind of ups and downs uh, that towns go through at the moment? Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, there's a lot of very positive stuff there, for, uh, and that's why New Haven Regeneration Group exists. We've got an amazing link to France. You know, four hours you're in Dieppe. Um, Part of the film, we actually have got one of the mayors of Dieppe in the film <laughs> because of the link. He came over for a three a three minutes. Yeah, but uh, mayors will do that sort of thing. <laughs> they yeah. will. Yeah, they will. It's but part of their not, job. They will, but not for eight hours round trip, uh, which is uh, and you know Frank Soto you know, came across to do that. Um, we've got over a billion pound of renewable energy investment in New Haven between Veolia and Rampion, uh, and uh, 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 so it's it's pretty cool there. I think one of its challenges is thirty one percent of people commute out for work. Uh, we all know that actually living and working locally is really important. So everything we're up to is trying to give people more of a chance to live and work locally yeah. uh, with what we're up to. I think we were doing a story the other week about you know bank branches closing and, and empty shops, and and, and sometimes it, it seems to be a place that. Um, we would go for a story like that. Is is it like that on the ground, Warren, at the minute? I think so. I mean, look, it's uh, you know, it's on the up, which is thanks to Graham and Mark and people like them. Uh, you know, it's been its reputation has isn't hasn't been great, is it, in the last ten, twenty years, in New Haven? But that's why we're doing this. That's why we're here. And I think uh, we're both. I went to school at Tideway, to, and so did Graham and Mark. And uh, it's lovely, and just being and that's one of the big schools in the area, isn't it? It is the one. It's the big New Haven secondary school, yeah. Yeah, but uh, it, uh, in that sort of oh, you know, burst yeah. from yeah, Seaford through yeah. to sort of Peacehaven and uh, towards Brightness, which yes. is one of the big schools, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Good. So, what are your hopes for Seaside Towns? Then, I mean, it, it, it you know, by all means, it will be on the Amazon Prime yes. platform from next week. But uh, people have got to watch it and stick with it. Is is all the is it all the episodes on there at once? Can we binge it or you is can. it? You mean? can, and it is only it's basically six twelve minutes episodes, so it's quite a nice and compact. So it's like a feature film's worth of of content. So you can binge it in an hour and a half, and uh, so that's lovely because you know it's a lovely thing to, as a write, from a writing point of view to write little twelve minute episodes was a joy, yeah. and. Uh, yeah, so they'll all be up. All six episodes will be up. I still quite don't understand why Amazon Prime because they're like they're at it hammer and tongs against next Netflix. So I would have thought things they're commissioning, looking to put on there, they want it to be massive hits, surefire hits, things that people will give over money to. Because you know some people would go to Prime just to see the Grand Tour with yeah. those blokes off Top Gear. Well, I mean Amazon don't aren't involved in the commissioning of this. I see. NRG commissioned. Right, uh, I'm, I'm, okay. commissioned it, and then. Uh, you did, there's just a process. There's a fairly boring process regarding Amazon, as there are with Netflix. But they've seen something on it to put it on this, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, international platform for you. So perhaps, they have. They perhaps have. we have to kind of 
bow to their expertise. Well, you hope so. And, and I think, you know, the subject matter, obviously football's big, big. Uh, like I said, I do think the, the crossover, the US-UK crossover was a, was a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is a new way of making uh, TV in the fact that it's bottom up. It's people from the community who've said, we want to put where we live on the map. We funded it locally. Uh, we'll get the money back for it and invest it again locally. And we've in- involved local people. I mean, there are, we're on the coastal community team in New Haven, which is a, a good group of people trying to make the place thrive. And uh, um, there are 142 coastal communities around the UK with a similar team. So who knows, episode three, four, five, six could be could started in Sussex and end up anywhere around the coast of the UK, maybe even in the F2. There we are. I think you've cleared up everything for me, other than to tell us uh, when we can see it from. Uh, well, there's a couple of things. We have our premiere day in uh, New Haven next Sunday, and uh, there's still a few tickets left for that, so if anyone wants to come along and see it with the cast and crew and all you know, have a fully fun red carpet day. It's a great launch. That's happening uh, next Sunday in New Haven. Uh, so you can visit uh, seasidetown.tv and you'll find out all about it there. And then it'll be Amazon Prime from Monday where you can search for it on Prime and it'll pop up and you can watch all six episodes. Well, what a great idea. Uh, let us know how it goes. Thank good, you. good luck. Congratulations for getting it on there, for getting on that kind of international platform. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens next. Thank you both very much indeed. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Warren Dudley and Graham Preecy there. So Seaside Towns uh, from next week on Amazon Prime. What do you think of that? 81333, our text number. Start your message with the word radio. Radio. <laughs>